So here, let's talk about the difference between HR and talent management. Because we looked at HR, we looked at talent management a bit. So let's see what is the difference, okay? So like I said before, human resources deals with the administrative function. So administrative meaning, payroll, compensation, benefits, employee management, managing the vacation, the, the attendance, etc. Those are all administrative. Those are all day-to-day -day work. Talent management is the function that's going to prepare your employees for current and future success. Talent management is looking really inside the company. It's looking at all the people inside the company, the skills, the competencies, seeing what's needed for you to become a successful business. Am I growing my employees in which area? Do they need sales training? Do they need marketing training? Do they need technical training? You know, technical development. And what framework am I using to accomplish this? So talent management, again, is a framework, okay? And you need talent management plans to gain focus of the leadership team. When you put a talent management plan in place, everybody needs to be aligned that it's very important for the organization, and it has to converge towards the same goal, okay? Also, talent management allows you to, like I said, to identify the skills and competencies of your employees. The first thing I would do if I were you is, when I go back to my company, is get a list of all the employees in your company and start getting information and details about what skills do they have. Because you'll be surprised. Sometimes you will find employees that they have certain skills that you never knew because they were never able to apply those skills. Okay? And you're searching outside for someone while you have the skills inside the company. Of course, it has to be aligned with the company's vision and be applicable across the full organization. So talent management is not done on just the leadership team, okay? It's done for all employees. I always tell people that even the receptionist in a company has a great role, has an excellent role for the success of the company. The receptionist is the person answering the phone, greeting the people. So the same way you develop your uh, CFO, you can develop your receptionist. But of course, each at their level. So you're not going to give the receptionist a strategic training and leadership training and all of that, but you might give the receptionist time management, all of these types of training. Okay? So again, make sure that each person in your organization is developed according to their role, again, to their current role and the potential future role that they might have.